Good day, Year 9, nearly Year 10. Let's start with the hopes, as always. Hope you're well. Hope you're working hard. Hope you're looking after each other. Um, so today's assembly, I'm going to start with us focusing on Sports Day. Um, it's not happening in the way that we wanted it to this year, but I thought we should do something different. So we're calling upon the whole art community students, their families, staff and external supporters to share in a fun, healthy and positive experience. Our goal as a network is to collectively cycle, run or walk the distance around the world, 40,000 kilometres. And our goal at Arc Victoria is to contribute at least 1,000 kilometres to the total. There will also be an opportunity to do some fundraising challenges too. But in the meantime, you can visit www dot arc sports day challenge dot com for more information and if you check out our school newsletter that of course will have information and if you go onto our youtube channel where you'll see this particular assembly uh, you'll also see uh, a video with one or two familiar faces in that let's focus on the shout outs so uh Hamera Fadouz, uh shout out for her tenacious effort and being on top of her game in science there from Miss Simji, again Hemera with a level of work in English and again her level of work in maths with Zamana Rahman. Um, I've seen the work that she and Zamana have produced um, over the last couple of weeks and it's quite outstanding, copious notes, handwritten notes. Um, so brilliant work there girls. Um, regarding Hegarty Maths, Hikma Habib, Mahia Mahadi, Nuha Chowdhury and Zahab Hussain in the last week learned seven new skills. Brilliant work there to all of those students. And let's look at the Hegarty Math leaderboard. And as you can see, Hamera is at the top of that. Well done. Well done to all the students that have done really well on Hegarty Maths for the last week. But again, I know many of you are working very, very hard. Keep it up. Um, hopefully you'll be congratulated in the in the coming weeks um, and as it says here to all students keep working hard access your emails do the baseline quizzes on Microsoft forms work using GCC pod Microsoft teams and Hegarty maths the big thing at the moment is that we are now shifting from you guys being year nine to being year 10 so every year is kind of moving up slowly and it's a massive year for you guys next year and this is the perfect time for you to focus on preparing for your gcse's so doing those baseline quizzes it, it's incredibly important check your emails get your parents to check their emails um check the newsletter for information that comes out the big thing is for all your option subjects you need to do those baseline quizzes it will give myself who you know i teach a drama class of course in year 10 and other teachers an opportunity to tailor our lessons towards your needs and find the gaps in your knowledge so it's really important that you do those baseline quizzes you don't want to fall behind when we return back to school so do do that work and as well, if you struggle to do the work, get in touch, drop an email to the teacher that's teaching you those lessons, or to, even to me, and I can pass that information on. If you lose your password for um, your school username or your, your school email address, then get in contact um, via the school website and we'll sort that out for you. With GCC Pod, you're gonna have to sort that out yourselves, I'm afraid, but again, if there are any problems, get in contact. Now, to conclude this assembly, um, as you know, very recently, um, the Black Lives Matter debate and movement has really erupted over the last couple of months and has become a, a, a very, very important talking point. And last week I made reference to it and I'm gonna do so again this week. And I thought, I wanna start or explore things a little bit closer to home. So I thought about our five houses, and I'm not certain whether you know this, and apologies if you do, but the, the uh, tutor group with the surname, with the name Zephaniah, they take their name 
from the surname of a particular individual and it's this gentleman here, Benjamin Zephaniah. In 2008, he was voted one of Britain's top 50 post-war World War II writers by the Times newspaper. And the really interesting thing about Benjamin Zephaniah is that he's a Brummie. He was born in Handsworth, the son of immigrant parents from the Caribbean. He was dyslexic. He left school at 13, couldn't read and write. But his poetry is influenced by the street culture of Jamaica. He first performed when he was 10 and by 15 became well known in Birmingham. He published his first book of poetry, which made lots of money and was really, really well sold, well, well, um, sold well. And he also made a name writing and reading poems in clubs and other venues. And his writing captures the mood of the early 1980s in Britain, where topics like homelessness, unemployment and race were very much talking points. And he became described as Britain's most recognisable poet. He's known for some, having some very strong and sometimes what many people believe to be quite controversial beliefs. So he thought about changing the British voting system and he was he turned down an OBE because he felt that because of the fact that we used to have a British empire which used to um, have people of wealth owning slaves, he felt they couldn't justifiably um, take a medal um, almost honouring that particular institution. He wrote a poetry book called Talking Turkeys, which is a great poem, um, he's written poems specifically aimed at teenagers like Refugee Boy and um, produced records. And the, the other thing is, of course, is that he's recently been seen in the BBC Global Hit Peaky Blinders. So I thought, well, Benjamin Zephaniah, fantastic poet. Let's listen to the wise words of this particular man and see what he has to say about race. This poem is called No Problem. No Problem. I am not the problem, but I bear the brunt of silly playground taunts and racist thumps. I am not the problem, I am a barn academic, but they got me on the run, now I'm branded athletic. I am not the problem, if you give me a chance I'll teach you up Timbuk too, I can do more than dance. I am not the problem, I greet you with a smile, you put me in a pigeonhole but I am versatile. Well these conditions may affect me. As I get older, and I am positively sure I have no chips upon my shoulders. Black is not the problem. Mother country, get it right. And just for the record, some of my best friends are white. Enough said. So this is Mr. Blackwood signing off. See you again soon. Keep working hard. Take care. Peace.